Hey guys, it's Justin at the Survivor Review, and I have a big piece of movie news to talk about today. If any of you guys have seen my videos and know I'm a huge Batman fan, this video shouldn't come as a surprise to you, but they just announced who's going to play Batman in the Man of Steel sequel. Currently titled Batman vs. Superman, that's, just, that's not like their official title, but I'm probably just going to refer to it as that for the remainder of this video. But anyway, that actor is none other than Ben Affleck. Huh? Yeah, um, I'm totally shocked at this news and a little disappointed and underwhelmed because I, well, it's Ben Affleck playing Batman. What? When I read this news, the only thing I kept saying to my brother the whole day was just like, What? But, but what? <laughs> because I just, it just doesn't seem, it seems like a really random choice. Like, I was listening to all these people's um, ideas of who they think should play Batman. None of them ever said Ben Affleck, and I never thought Ben Affleck. And I don't think he's really a good choice. I honestly am very skeptical. I feel that he could probably pull off Bruce Wayne pretty decently, but I don't know if I'm going to believe him as Batman. I mean, but that's also like saying George Clooney made a pretty good Bruce Wayne. Yeah, he was also an awful Batman. So, I don't know, because he's one of those actors like Tom Cruise, where no matter what role you're in, you see that actor. You're like, okay, yeah, that's Tom Cruise playing a part. Yeah, that's Ben Affleck playing a part. So I feel like I'm not going to be convinced when he has the mask on everything. I'm just going to feel like, I just feel like I'm watching Ben Affleck. And so that's the one problem. Also, I just don't, I don't see him as, I just don't, I don't, I don't think that would work at him as Batman. I can't picture it. I just so hope that Zack Snyder and Ben Affleck, they, they just proved me wrong. Because I really disappointed in this choice. But one of the perks of this is what people are saying is, he there, then he might direct Justice League. Or when they get to a solo Batman movie, he can be able to direct it and... I like the idea. I love him as a director. I think he's a great director, a decent actor. I'm not going to say terrible. He's better in the movies he's directed. Like, he was much better in The Town and Argo than he was in his other movies. But then again, it's going to be weird because you know, he already tried out the whole superhero thing with Daredevil. And we all know how that turned out. <laughs> I honestly don't hate Daredevil. I just think it's a very mediocre movie. Just watch the director's cut, you get a better film. But I, I feel Ben Affleck was definitely miscast in that movie. But I just don't... I see him like... Also, this this is such a left field choice. It's just like... Ben Affleck? I was hoping... My opinion on an actor to play Batman was something... I was gonna like... When they recently name, it's gonna shock people, but also interest me. like, what? Yeah... You know, like... One of the rumored actors... And I wouldn't have minded this choice, I'm not saying this is who I prefer to be, but one of the actors was Josh Brolin, who is not, he's not the most well-known actor, pretty well-known, but that's, I feel that's the type of actor, if they cast him, people will be like, huh, Josh Brolin's bad thing? Yeah, because I would see that. And this just came out of nowhere, and everybody is just like, no. And I don't see it, I'm, I hope they do something good. Also, one problem that comes from this is that, due to being involved in all the, Batman vs. Superman, Justice League stuff. Uh, he had to st Ben Affleck had to drop out of directing the Stand adaption, which is an adaption of the Stephen King book. I'm a huge Stephen King fan, read the Stand, the expanded version, loved it, and when I heard Affleck was directing it, I was like, yes! Because a great director, this could be awesome. And now he had to drop out. <sighs> I just hope this pays off. Because, I mean, I know that Warner Brothers, they can also, this probably was a choice by Warner Brothers because Affleck has done a lot of good stuff for them. Uh, Warner Brothers made The Town and Argo. So, you know, it might have been them, their way of trying to have them repay them. Like, okay, you got to do that stuff, well now you got to play Batman. And also Affleck said he was done with comic book movies. So that really confused me. He said he was done doing comic books and stuff like that because he was... A long time ago, rumored to be directing uh, um, Justice League. He was actually one of the forerunners, and it was a rumor, it was never official. And he responded, he's like, Yeah, I'm not capable of that yet. Maybe he is. Let's hope. So, yeah, Batman Affleck being Batman is just a totally surprising thing. 
that is very underwhelming because I this is my most hyped movie of 2015. Yeah, you got Avengers 2, Star Wars Episode 7, uh, New James Bond. I don't care. Batman vs. Superman. Batman's my favorite. I was satisfied with Man of Steel. Not loved it, but satisfied. Enough to where I am hyped for this movie. And this casting news did kind of bring my hype to a little bit of a halt. I'm still excited for it, but it's a little bit like, yeah, Batman vs. Superman. Oh yeah, with Affleck. I mean, I agree. I think he's gotten better as an actor, and I think he's a decent actor, at least not as bad as he used to be. But at least decent. I just don't see him as the part, but I hope it turns out well. And I do hope if they go on to do more future installments with Batman, he gets to direct them, because I would really see that. And doing, making uh, Gotham like by like Boston, you know, like in the, in the town and stuff like that, like that would really work, and that would be really cool. I could see Affleck doing a Batman movie, directing once, acting. Uh, but directing, I would, I would buy that. So that's, I guess, one good thing that come out of this. And it would be cool if he did direct just this week. Well, this is something that I really hope pans out for the best because I really want us to, uh, to finally get that DC cinematic universe and it's our next step do it to it is introducing Batman. So it's really something I hope works out and I just I hope he does a good job and I hope he gets to direct. So that's that's the most recent news for Batman vs Superman which is they also announced that it's coming out July seventeenth, twenty fifteen. So that date is already marked on my mental calendar, and I will be there, either, even even with Affleck involved, Midnight Show, IMAX, all that stuff, just ready, and something that I hope plays out. And yeah, that's the big news, probably some of the biggest news recently for movies, Ben Affleck playing Batman, who, like I mentioned in the past, I don't know, he might be able to pull it off, and I really hope he does. So yeah, I want to hear what you guys have to say on that, if any of you guys are Batman fans, what you think about Ben Affleck playing Batman, which still sounds weird saying that, in Batman vs. Superman, if you guys hate that idea, which, you know, wouldn't surprise me, or if you guys love it, it'd be really cool to hear. I, I'm, like I said, I'm very skeptical, I hope it turns out good, but, mm. so yeah, that's about it for now, and until next time, I will talk to you guys later.